I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is Hoot Reviews Terroir. Terroir is a winemaking tycoon game released by General Interactive Co. I don't know if that's company or cooperative or something else, but it just came out on September 20th, and it is $15 on Steam. My subjective rating, which of course is how I personally feel it should be rated, is 3.5 stars out of 5, and my objective rating is 6.75 out of 10 unrounded or 7 out of 10 when rounded which equates to again three and a half stars for each of my categories in the objective rating system uh i have individual scores for sound i gave terroir six out of ten the ui and sound effects are pleasing but they're slightly repetitive the uh the game has like two or three songs that repeat which are good songs they're very good but, you know, it gets kind of repetitive when you're playing for hours and the songs are only a couple minutes long. But that, you know, you'll see that in anything. And there's voice acting in the game, but the voice acting is terrible. Like, just, there's no way to sugarcoat it. Some of the voice acting was good, the rest was so bad. Especially the stuff on the, uh, the chance and occurrence, I think they're called. Which, also, I will get to in the gameplay section. Next up is the graphics category, where I assigned Terroir a 7.5 out of 10. It's got a beautiful low-poly aesthetic. It's mostly, like, pretty much all internally consistent for the graphics, but the UI doesn't match at all and looks really thrown together. I don't know if this is still in early access. I don't think it is. So they should really work on the UI and fix that up, make it look nice. That would easily bump the graphics score up to a probably 8 or 9 out of 10 at least. Next up is gameplay, which I gave it a 5.5 out of 10. It's got an engaging and fun tycoon gameplay loop. If you've played one tycoon game, they're basically all the same, but you know, it's a pretty good formula and it works. Unfortunately, Terroir is really gamey. Like, it's really easy to do nothing wrong at all and just go bankrupt because the game decides that you should lose. Not to mention, there's these things called, uh, I think it's Chance and Occurrence, which is like, if you get a 5 star rating on a wine, then you can open up the chest and choose one of them. But, like, every single one that I got was terrible, and it was so bad for me. So it's just sort of like, why? Why bother if they're all gonna be bad? Maybe there's good ones, but I opened up 6 or 7 of them, and they were all bad. So if they could sort of make the chance and occurrence things better make it easier to not just lose even though you're doing nothing wrong and sort of make it you know just just different basically <laughs> it, it needs to be a smoother experience and uh finally the settings depth category i gave it eight out of ten it's built in unity so you've got you know natural good control over resolution and key bindings the graphic settings aren't very detailed beyond the you know, low, medium, beautiful, whatever, fantastic that Unity offers standard. There's no deeper audio, or no deeper graphic settings within the game. And half, I gave half points on audio control because it does have individual settings sliders for like music, sound, voice acting. But there's sort of a bug where some of the UI effects are wrapped into the voice slider, so... You know, I was just, like, trying to listen to the voice acting and it would do a huge loud sound effect that was just way too loud. So, again, 8 out of 10 for settings. Leading to, like I said, overall, subjective rating, 3.5 stars, objective 6.75 unrounded, 7 out of 10 rounded, or 3.5 stars. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's my first actual review thing, so... You know, I'm going to try to make it better in the future. If you have any suggestions for how to make it better, leave them in the comments below so that I can read them and internalize them and hopefully improve the series even more. But, you know, hopefully beyond that, uh, you guys enjoyed this. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys all next time.